I'm agreement that we probably need projected 30 million tests a week uh, to move forward into recovery. Right now, we're at about a million a week. That's a 30-fold increase, and yeah. it, 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 it involves so many logistical steps to make it work, not just getting the test kits and the reagents, but the logistics of getting people to actually testing. do the so, testing, collect the specimens, the locations. Right. Yeah, like that's why the, the drugstore is a great idea. But here's a better one that might be coming, and that's self-administered. So this might become more like a, um, how could I say that? A, a uh, pregnancy test. test. <laughs> so there is one that's already FDA approved. You stick it, you don't have to stick it all the way back, but it's um, self-administered, put it in, mail it back. We're looking at that for drop-off as well. And they're also looking at saliva testing. Hmm. So you really want to take this out of the physician's hand to order. I think you would yeah. call it frictionless uh, testing and test yeah. management, like yeah. ordering an Uber. Yeah. And as I said, I'm fine with people getting tested because we don't know all the presentations. But then you, we need a test management system. So if it's positive, then how is someone going to come in and help in terms of the household? As you said, contact trace. Um, treatment for most people is not going to be needed in terms of, of, of anything but supportive care. <laughs>